It's the new song. It would go like cotton candy, and we're twerking, and and we're all having a good time. Raw. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Board AF. Today we are playing the game Exist. In Exist, we will try and survive ridiculous scenarios. We have some examples laying here on the table. Your opponent, intergalactic strippers. Your location, a dentist's office. And the wild card is that you have active diarrhea. With the cards in your hand, you will have seven resources. You choose one of them to play in any kind of Cards Against Humanity mm -hmm. setting game, the same style. You will play it to the judge, and they will vote on who is uh, most likely to survive, nice. or at least the funniest story of survival. Like no one might be like, here's how what I think would actually do to decide, so I'm gonna go yeah. with this person, but Shane's gonna be like, you know what, I think it's funny because you mentioned uh, Judy Dench, uh, yeah. and I think she's great, right. and she's my best That's friend. That's correct. I do love to talk about Judy Dench. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't? I'm ready to get into it. Let's oh, play a game! We're about to do it? I will judge you all first. Lovely. Oops. All right, everybody, we are going to put up our first scenario. Wow. You're at a Shanghai nightclub. Nice. Oh, nice. boy. Hell yeah. You're fighting Solar flares. Nice. Oh my god. And unfortunately, there's an avalanche. Oh my god, solar flares oh god. and an avalanche? There are solar flares and an avalanche in a Shanghai nightclub. Please tell me how you are coming out of this scenario alive. All right, so uh, I am going to survive this situation because I have a presidential pardon. Now, I don't know if you know this, but a presidential pardon is very powerful. It literally, you can do it if you have committed crimes, and you can do it for crimes you may commit in the future, or crimes that you may have committed in the past. You don't have to be general at all. Uh, but they pretty much absolve you of most things, at least in the United States, which is where I reside. Now this nightclub is in Shanghai, but it's just a short plane ride away. So what I will do is I'll immediately make for the exit. I'll do everything in my power to trample over others. I will go, I will commit any crime needed to ensure my survival because I'll be absolved of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so if that's using people as warmth for the avalanche or if that's using people as sunglasses for the solar flares, uh, I will survive. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't think that you had it, but, but you got there. <laughs> All I'm saying. I'll I didn't think I you were to. gonna be able to tie that back around. Shane, how are you gonna survive? An alternate reality. Ooh. Now, I will open up this alternate reality, and in this alternate reality, avalanches are cotton candy, oh and solar flares are twerking backup dancers. Uh-oh, suddenly we're in a Katy Perry music video. Oh my God. <laughs> Everything is just fine. Uh, we're doing great. Not only have we uh, eliminated the threat, we're not having a blast. We're all plastic bags. <laughs> sound like. It's the new song. It would go like cotton candy, and we're twerking, and and we're all having a good time. Raw. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, I like it. Okay. Suck. <laughs> this is a bad one. Well, <laughs> Damien. Yes, you uh, have an extra prop. I sure do, and thank goodness, because it really makes everything come together. We held polls in Twitch chat for a prop that one of the cast members had to implement into their story each round. Now, when you think of Shanghai nightclubs, what do you think of? Say it with me, three, two, one, twerking on each other and grinding. Um, so, uh, my number one thing is friction. That's right, wow. as everybody's grinding up on each other, which everyone's down for and it's super cool, uh, you start to generate heat. You start to generate a little bit of uh, Heat, uh, but how do you capture the heat uh, with this prop, the wooden toad? Now, I want to point out something to you. It is very hollow on the inside, and it goes. Oh wow, it sounds just like a frog, doesn't it? Almost like a bee, you can twerk too. Almost like a bee, you can twerk too, and you catch the heat in the middle of it. That's where the fire begins. Now, you gotta act fast in this moment. I will give you that. Uh, as the avalanche comes, you hold out the frog, and if you are pure of heart, you can channel the heat through the frog and save your village. It will melt, turning into icy cool water, not too uh, uh, different from a slushy that you might get from 7-Eleven. Uh, as the solar flares come in and start to mess up all the electronics and things like that, you hold up that cold water and the solar flares go, ooh, what a neutral temperature we are now. <laughs> We're such a neutral temperature. Uh, and it really does fix everything. And then everybody says, let's celebrate. That's a, that's a beat, man. Yeah. All right. Out of all of those, I'm gonna say Shane jumping to an alternate reality where Katy Perry is was probably the move. Thank you. Yeah, pretty much. Woo! Oh! Well, I see how this is gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it is oh. my turn. 
the villain you are facing Horseshoe puppeteers. is Darth Vader. Great. Hell yeah. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. The location, a museum. <gasps> uh oh. And uh, to top it all off, you're drunk. Hell yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so, uh, Darth Vader, he's got force powers. It's kind of a big deal. So what if you walk forward and have a little bit of garlic breath? Now, that man's the first thing you think of when you think of Darth, ba of Darth Vader is, uh, how how much breathing trouble he has. Ah, yes. oh, He's got yeah. that respirator on account of being burned. Um, You hide in a sarcophagus and he says, I know you're there somewhere. And he opens up the sarcophagus and you say, surprise, I'm not a mummy. <laughs> And um, the garlic Holy breath just sort of goes up in his face. Holy shit. Um, He's going to be like, oh, oh, you're not even worth no. fighting now. No. And then Ray walks in and she goes, my name is Ray Lucasfilm. William Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> All three of Chewbacca's family members from the Star Wars Christmas special walk in and they're like, we're canon now. Everyone starts singing. <laughs> Uh, Mahu more Dahu Dore Christmas Christmas time is <laughs> all right. Sage, it's your turn. <laughs> Excellent. <Great. laughs> I'm offering uh, some buffalo wings because uh, I feel like if we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have a drink, uh, we're gonna need some kind of little bit of drunk food. I am offering to take a moment in this museum. I'm talking sit down on the floor, crisscross applesauce with Darth Vader, and share a plate of buffalo wings. Anakin got some trauma, okay? Mm. I'm trying to get down to the bottom of where things went from Anakin to Vader Same. here in this museum. They made three movies. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he ever got to talk about it. Well, uh, if I was at the museum drunk with Darth Vader attempting to kill me, there's one thing that I would always uh, have in my pocket, or I do always have just in case of this emergency, and that is magic mushrooms. Now, Darth Vader uh, obviously has some you know, pent up traumas. We, we, we've touched on this before. Uh, and I don't know if you know this, but magic mushrooms are being studied in order to possibly uh, help solve people's uh, depression or at least help treat it. I should use the word treat. Right. I'm drunk, so I'm gonna be able to talk him into it. You know what I mean? I'm very <laughs> persuasive when I'm drunk. Uh, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna look at some sculptures, we're gonna look at some paintings, but I think Darth will have, you know, gotten to the other side of the bridge on, on some of these issues going on in their mind. I noticed you adopted calling him just Darth. Oh, well, we're good friends. Is Darth his first name? He's got a latte for dirt. <laughs> what? <laughs> for darts? <laughs> I just like him, like, high as shit. Just be like, oh my god, I never saw it that way. Yeah. Oh my god, is that my voice? Is that my voice? <laughs> <laughs> like, is this what I Whoa. sound like? I think I'm leaning towards Sage. I think I think yours is gonna work. I think yours is the simplest, and it's it just it's got you got a clear strategy there, and I I, I believe in it. Damien's turn. Oh, the location is gonna be Subway, and I am going to say not the transportation, but the sandwich chain. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Ooh, okay. the person you're going to have to defeat is Hannibal Lecter. Hell yeah. But what's the sitch, Rufus? Oh, uh, it's during a lightning storm. Oh no. Wow. Tell me how you survived the situation with Hannibal Lecter and someone in a lightning storm, Zane. So there's plenty to eat here, and yet Hannibal Lecter wants to eat my flesh, mm. naturally. Mm. Okay, uh, so. In doing so, I reach into my purse, and as I would always have, uh, SPF 3000 sunscreen. Oh. Look, I'm slathering. I am slathering, because imagine, you're somebody who's got like some cannibalistic tendencies, right? Okay, you wanna take a little nibble on the flesh. Do you wanna do it when there is SPF 3000 sunscreen just slathering mm. the skin? I'll let him even take a little, uh, right? Just one little, uh, and, uh, <coughs> Absolutely repulsive. And then I will guide him to the counter at Subway sure. naturally, and I will help him make a sandwich. I will help him get through his first time ordering off of the menu. It's a little confusing down the bar. Okay. I think it would also maybe turn him uh, away from the taste of flesh and on to the taste of the turkey. Get him away from cannibalism with the delicious, delicious taste of Subway. Norbert, uh, how on earth you survive in Hannibal Lecter in a subway during a lightning storm? <laughs> well, let me tell you, Damien. Please do. Uh, with a lawsuit. Subway, I don't know if you know, but Recently, they had a spokesperson that went to prison. In the rush to try to get someone well known that would also be, uh, you know, a good figure, someone else who is hungry, Subway thought that they would get Hannibal Lecter. Sure. So, uh, unfortunately for me, I was uh, uh, going to get a sandwich during a lightning storm. Little did I know that it was Hannibal's uh, first day, it was a, a photo op uh, opportunity. But when I arrived, who would have thunk Hannibal ate? all the producers and the photographer. No. Oh my God. Right? 
Uh, but I took some photos on the way, uh, called my lawyer, sat back in my, um, my lightning uh, resistant car, um, definitely resistant, and uh, yeah, called a lawyer, got a lawsuit going for what I experienced, uh, and I made $11 million. I am heavily traumatized, but with $11 million, uh, not only did I exist through the situation, but I'm now thriving. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How about you? Yeah. Um, uh, Shane, top brains. See? <laughs> I know he wants my brains, but luckily I have some in a Ziploc bag. That How I got them doesn't matter. So I pull them out and I go, hey, chip, 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 chip. and he sees this, he's like, oh, and I, I throw it. He gets distracted. He goes over near the, the soda machine. It's at that moment that I I'm like, I have to act quick, because he's going to eat that, and he's going to turn back on me. So I, then I spin around. Boom. Huh. I'm Tuxedo Mask. You didn't <gasps> see that coming. And I throw this right into his back. He's like, ah! He turns around. All of a sudden, he charges up. It's Mecha Hannibal Lecter. Oh, no. I didn't see that Mecha coming. Mecha Lecter! <laughs> Mecha Lecter. The lightning storm has charged him up. <laughs> Luckily, the, I used the kiss from a rose. See you later. And then, bam. I, I control the lightning. I throw it back at him. It overloads the systems. He explodes. Seal gets a Grammy. I marry <laughs> Seal. We become <laughs> <a> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm trying. And then we, we, because of our true love, we become our natural forms, which is actual seals. And we go in the wow. sea and we live happily forever after until Ariel kills us and makes us into her clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, good job. Here. Good job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, tuxedo mask has never once been useful, so this is <laughs> awesome that that's happened. All right. First and foremost, your opponent are money hungry lawyers. So we litigious. still had that lawsuit, yeah. right? So litigious. You're in no locker room together. Mm -hmm. And. Unfortunately, you have double vision. All right. The immediate way to solve this solution is to throw out my handy dandy pocket full of nerve gas. Whoa. That's right. Because what stops people quicker than nerve gas? Uh huh. Uh, uh, you know, not many things. Now, legally, the nerve gas might be a problem, but uh -huh. seeing as all the lawyers will be affected by the nerve gas, I think I'll be able to make a clean and safe escape. You couldn't possibly be sued if all of the lawyers were nerve incapacitated. Gas. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. All right, all right. Money hungry lawyers, and they're trying to sue me, and I'm in the locker room, and I, I'm seeing double. See, everyone's got four balls, and I don't know yep. how to react to it. Double dongs all around. So, simple. I pull out a stick of dynamite. Mm. I go to light it, but I'm sitting there just going like this. Because I'm trying to light the fuse, but it's over. I'm trying to light this fuse over here, but the real fuse is over here. They think I'm insane, and I am. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm able to actually light the dynamite. Then they're like, what the heck? I'm like, oh crap, hold on one second. I put it in my locker, shut it. And then I pass the bar exam in that moment. What? And then it explodes. <laughs> mm. And LA Fitness becomes 24 hour fitness. <laughs> <laughs> that is about the quality drop that you get when you have an That's, explosion. Did you, did you. Are you in the explosion? Yes, I am dead. <laughs> All right. I still exist, just in matter. The French! When they colonized what is modern day Canada, they were looking for goods. And what goods were they looking for? Beaver pelts. That's right, there's a lot of money in beaver fur, even in the modern day. I have this paddle. I take it on one of the sinks and I go like a I think there might be a beaver in here. It kind of sounds like it's uh, with echo, it might be coming from that corner. They all sort of look in that corner and see if there is indeed a beaver. When they're all gathered in that corner, the double vision doesn't matter. I can split the difference between the two because, oh, oh, what works well with a paddle? A rocket launcher. I blow them to Smithers and Eanes, the law offices of Smithers and Eanes. <laughs> and right. they, uh, after the pink mist settles, I uh, <laughs> a, uh, drop a single tear and I say, I knew I'd do it. <laughs> Let's go home, boys. And I reach down both hands. What is actually in there are little mustaline friends, two actual beavers. I put them here right. on my shoulders. They wrap around my head. I can't see. I need not see. They are my ears. They are my eyes. <laughs> He's walking out and the beaver's just like, okay, now left. Left. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. straight. I'm picturing the angry beavers. I was literally going to say Daggett and Norbert. Yep. Mm. They would do that a lot. I got to go with that beaver slap. Yeah! The beaver slap. Finally, yeah. beavers get because recognition. Because I died, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. you died. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. The name yeah, of the My body is. died. I think it's because you died. Oh, wow. <laughs> Our location is a minefield. Finally. Mm -hmm. Your opponent, cartel assassins. Ooh, not good. I mean, the wild card, bad. you are wearing a straight jacket. All right, everyone. Cartel assassins, they finally found me. 
<laughs> we are deep in the jungle. They have tracked me down. I'm, I have a straight jacket on because yes, I was put in a, an asylum. I broke out. I got all the way down to this jungle. The, you know how like pajamas have that little butt flap? Well, the straight jacket has that too. I'm like, the, the butt flap immediately just comes, it just un, unlastens and it just goes, and 10,000, 10,000 dollars comes out. <laughs> In the form of Bitcoin, all right? Are uh -huh. these coins? Any, these are coins. Physical coins come out of my <laughs> what ass. What are you saying is coins? Now, what happens is, what you think it is, oh, I'm paying them? No. I'm shooting these coins. <laughs> <laughs> it's very powerful. And they are, they're a good distance away, right? Mm. Um, these coins are perfectly landing on all the mines that are right around them. Wow. Just exploding them. It's a, it's a strategy you've only seen on Super Smash Brothers. They all <laughs> explode and die from the coins I'm shooting out of my ass. <laughs> Have you guys seen that Doritos 3D are back? <laughs> what? Yeah. It's pretty wild. Wow. Um, and I ask them the same question. They say, what? <laughs> it's just like our childhood in the 90s. And I say, well, if you reach right here in my pocket, there's a bag of Doritos 3D. Sure enough, there are. And they said, gosh, I sure would like some of this, but I'm not paying for it. I say, fellas, who do you think you're talking to here? These are free samples. <laughs> open them up, open them up and have at them. Uh, so they open them up and they say, wow, it tastes just like I did was, and it kind of cuts up the top of your mouth. I know why they stopped making these. Uh, and they say, there's so many of these, we could just let them rain from the above. And they do. And uh, they end up hitting a bunch of mines that are sort of far from us and we clear a path. And I say, guys, I don't know how you're feeling, but Bennigan's? <laughs> they say, Bennigan's? I would love to go to Bennigan's with you. Can we get an app sampler? I said, I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, that was hilarious. I'm a vigilante. Legs, and legs. I'm out to protect <laughs> the city. They caught me. They wrapped me up in a straight jacket. They dragged me out into a minefield. I'm sitting out there. And I'm like, oh, oh no, I'm so helpless. Oh God, what would you do? Uh, and then I reach into uh, this little uh, pouch that I keep on my wrist. Wow. Uh, a fairy dust, and it activates my magical girl transformation. <laughs> It is incredible. It flips around and I expand into spider legs. Now, sure, I've got a straight jacket on, but they didn't account for spider legs. I am able to carefully tiptoe on my eight legs around all of the mines because it's very important to specify how you're getting out of a minefield. I did. Did you not listen? I did. <laughs> okay. I shot coins out of my ass and made them all explode, <laughs> except for the ones that were near me. And I they am tippy topping back to town to continue saving the day. Damn. I enjoy the spider powers. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. Oh my God. So I think you get the point, but I will say Doritos 3D and Bennigan's was a close second. Oh Don't God. patronize me. I will go to Bennigan's by my so loan seat. <laughs> Judge us. And the location is an insane asylum. <gasps> oh, that Your opponent, <laughs> 20 angry landlords. Wow. The caveat, uh, there's a stampede. Wow. Look out, Mufasa. So you're walking along in an insane asylum, and uh, the 20 angry landlords are, uh, they're all best friends. Um, and they're all walking around in a little stampede. They're like, hop, 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 as they do. They're like, hey, look, look at that boy. And they're about to go attack you and ask for all that security deposit money back, because they realize they finally found all the fish that you hid under their carpets. Ah, uh, dang it. Joke. And you say, you say, uh, ladies, fellas, non-binary friendos, maybe we can all work this out. Maybe a, a nice pepperoni pizza will take you mind up there. And they all look at each other and they go, I could eat. I could eat. I could eat. Yeah, well, like, I could, I could eat. eat. Everyone knows landlords love pizza. <laughs> you drop the pizza, you gently slip back. Uh, you've dodged the stampede, you dodged the 20 angry landlords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck topping that. Good luck. You're going to need to escape. You need to get away from the la angry landlords. You need to get away and through the stampede, and you're trying to get out of that asylum as well. And my solution to that is lube. Ooh! Oh. Ooh. Right. You are. Just your right, just your left arm. Mm -hmm. That's how they do. One area at a time. Okay. <laughs> okay. I've I've never applied lube on my body, but I feel like really? uh, you've like had that. your first kiss, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay? The landlords, they come for you, okay? There's a gang of them. They're surrounding you. They go to grab you. And you just 
boop, and you just shoot out. Exactly. You're also <laughs> entirely naked. The stamp stampede starts. It's some kind of riot coming through. You're dodging between, slipping between them, making horrific noises in between each body, charging towards and inevitably letting the stampede maul the angry landlords by not stopping the stampede, but letting them right through as you, <laughs> you slip through the bars and the fence on the yeah, perimeter that's awesome. on the property and you get home and you invoke your squatters rights because your landlords mm. are in an insane asylum and what the hell are they gonna do about it? Wow. Of course, I'm in an insane asylum, uh, but that's just normal. Right. Explains the hat. I was put in there due to my uh, very radical beliefs that could uh, destroy the fabric of society. What were your beliefs? Uh, my beliefs were... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. Shape-shifting capabilities, oh, which course. I believed others had because, of course, I had them. You believe everyone else is a shape-shifting lizard person when you are a shape-shifting lizard person. Uh, there was a, a stampede, because uh, it was lunchtime, and uh, it was Tapioca Friday. Everyone gets very excited for Tapioca Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, so the stampede was formed. Uh, these 20 angry landlords were a great distraction because they were actually me. Uh, because I have shape-shifting capabilities. What? Yes, yes. Shyamalan. Mm -hmm. And we got 20 because I cut off each of my fingers and toes and made each of those shape-shift into a person so that I could crawl out. You cool, look interested. Cool, cool. Well, this is a fact. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Shane, you get to decide who wins the game. Dude. Yeah. Damien's ends by going to Bennigan's, and that's the thing is... <laughs> no, 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 that was no. the previous one. This oh, is Pepperoni Pizza. That's right, this is Pepperoni Pizza. <laughs> from Bennigan's, though, right? But Do from Bennigan's. This is the Domino's <laughs> two for five ninety nine each deal. You get a thin crust. Well, you that's the win. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely Shane's doing. Thank I definitely you. didn't have to do that. We get to keep all of the abilities that we described here, there, today. I'm still a spider. You're still going to Bennigan's, and Shane is still confusing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already, and be sure to hit that little bell, turn on notifications, so you get a notification every time that we post a new video. Mm. So you can come and hang out with us every time. Mm. We'll see you then, huh? Bye. Come back. Click, click this, the video over click here. A vi oh, that one. Click the video over there. I think they should click this one. Well, you think that well, one? I think that I one think. is poison. Wow. That one will give you a virus. That one will give you a virus. They're both very You gotta try both. That one will give you a virus. Come back. <laughs>